day I think ate in isolation. And I tend to spend most of my time spinning round in circles in my deluxe ensuite. Uh, the last four or five days have been absolutely beautiful outside. And I'm not even allowed to go out for fresh air. Not necessarily killing me, but it's not doing me any favours either. Um, uh, I'm going to do a very quick review on these glasses because I'm going to try and share this video with people that might not know about them, might be newly injured or you don't need to be injured or paralysed if you like to to buy a set of these glasses but um, they're very helpful for people without the use of their hands and arms etc and hopefully it could get to people because I never knew about them when I was in hospital I never knew about them until I got to Erskine I don't think um, and they're a great bit of kit they're called a glass house you'll find them online for the price um, I won't scare you right now with that I'll let you do that yourself but um, if you're in the hospital and like me, when I was there, I relied on everyone to, you know, turn Netflix on or check my phone or um, I didn't have a laptop then, but, you know, emails, etc, etc. So, coming out of injury, the last thing you want to do is just sit, sit around, bored, um, pissed off, depressed, you know, you name it. With these bad boys, you can connect directly with Bluetooth uh, and operate. I've never tried my phone, but you can operate your um, computer, PC, laptop, tablet, I believe as well. Um, and they do exactly what it sounds like. They're glasses and they operate your mouse. So whatever head movement you move um, the cursor move, moves with your head and the bite piece operates the left click very accurate, very responsive uh, and you know, great bits of kit absolutely without these over the last year I would have been lost. I've had these about a year now. I got them last uh, December, a, a year ago. Um, so, like I said, they're a good bit of kit. Hopefully this um, bit of info might uh, give someone in a hospital or someone that could use them. You know, sitting in their bed at night, you can operate a PC from I think they're up to 20 feet away. Um, you kind of need to be at a reasonable angle to the TV to get a good, you know, if you're, if you're lying back staring at the roof, they don't work as good, obviously. So um, the only problem I will say about them, um, they're not as durable or as tough as I would have liked them to be to have been, um, especially with the price. So just be careful. Um, don't, if you've got a big heat like me, um, try not spread the legs too far by your face. Um, or like my first to it, they did break. Um, I won't name any names, it was a carer. Um, but I won't name any names, I won't name and shame Craig. Um, he opened them just slightly bigger than my medicine ball head and he just had a, click, a wee click which was the, the legs just snapping. Um, they're a little uncomfortable on the face, there's not a lot of, um, there's not a lot of adjustment so it's kind of one size fits all so besides those things and 
uh, a little bit of buffering or uh, jittering, whatever you want to call it, when, when you're moving. Um, sometimes the cursor might freeze. However, um, great bit of kit. Cracking for someone like myself in my condition, uh, such condition, whatever, you know, no use of your hands or arms. Um, they're very, very good. I am just about to buy a new um, device, if you like, to help me with my DJing or my mixing because these just aren't cutting the mustard. Um, like I said, sometimes they buffer and they stop and start uh, and that doesn't help when you're trying to fade a song in or um, play around with the, the frequencies etc. Um, so I'm buying a quad stick, in fact 20 minutes ago I just bought a quad stick coming from the States, um, I think it will take up to about 4 weeks they said. Uh, it's a lot more durable, it's a sip and puff device, so you you um, say you double tap or double puff, it'll double click on your mouse, uh, if you sip it can drag you know, a folder and drop it into another one. They replicate and almost replace the PlayStation and the Xbox remote controls, so I've watched guys on YouTube literally uh, absolutely killing it on Call of Duty or uh, FIFA, I would like to, hopefully when I get it I'm going to give a give FIFA a bash on my Xbox so I'm looking forward to that um, they were a little bit more expensive than these but again if you know it's worth it I think for because without these bits of kit uh, I have sat lay for months on end um, staring at the ceiling waiting for people to turn on Netflix skip a page on a news article I don't know so they're a lifeline um, when I get the quad stick uh, I'll do a demo. I'm hope, hope, hopefully be able to do, if I can figure out how to screen share or screen record, I'll hopefully do a demonstration on um, like DJing or mixing or um, something like that. So, um, looking forward to that. For anyone that doesn't know, the reason why I am in a wheelchair and relying and dependent on uh, these bits of hardware, uh, gadgets if you like, is because in 2019 April, um, the 15th, I crashed my motorbike, um, poor little fire blade, crashed my motorbike and broke my neck, um, I crushed my C4 vertebrae and after crush, well, re the result of crushing it, um, it crushed my, or severed, severed and crushed I think, after reading some of the reports, um, my uh, spinal column, my, I'm going to hopefully, I have uh, eventually got the scans sent through on a, a, a disc and I'm going to hopefully extract them onto my computer and I'll if I can figure out how to pop them onto this video, I'll uh, edit a couple of scans of my neck. I've got like a an E-shaped um, rig up going through my C3, C4, C5 and then some, um, like a strengthening stabilizer if you like running up the center of my spine to hold the E-shaped, um, almost like scaffolding in place just to, well, it's difficult, I don't even actually know, there is a lot of uh, jargon on the the disc drive, the disc that I got to say what exactly materials they are, right now I can't remember, 
um, I, I should have hopefully I can pop a few pictures up um, maybe some descriptions as well to describe the material in case anyone's interested uh, it's quite it was quite a um, a clean operation um, they went through the front of my neck you actually can't see the scar running down the front of my or across my neck just below my Adam's apple on the left hand side um, but it's just in the crease of my skin so it's a cracking job by the surgeon um, I think the operation took place on the 17th or maybe the 16th or the 17th again or not my next vlog I'll uh, go over the story if you like from start to finish because unfortunately maybe in some cases unfortunately maybe in some cases I can remember it clear as day like it was yesterday um, to the letter so the next video I'll go over the, the crash itself I might even fling in a couple of pictures of a, a destroyed motorbike um, well not destroyed but enough enough to um, to stop me in my tracks anyway okay happy new year everyone hope you have a cracker a better one than last all right bye bye